All right, Sagittarius, this is going to be a reading for you guys. Um, this is going to be for what is your person's next actions towards you? What is Sagittarius's person's next actions, please? Together or separated. We're going to be doing four cards for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Holy Spirit. Angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and highest to the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. So check out your other placements. Um, I will be uploading uh, all signs, um, a couple each day. So check your other placements for additional information. All right, Sagittarius, person on Saggy's mind, what is their next action towards Sagittarius, please? Knight of Coins, Knight of Swords, Four of Wands, okay. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy coming out. <clears throat> Don't have to be dealing with one of those signs, but... Let's get one more. What are the next actions? And the hanged woman. Somebody, somebody here, Piscean energy. Um, somebody's wanting to come in and offer something stable, something committed, something grounded, something long term. This is something they've been planning, but they are moving. I don't know. This if things seemed slow at one point, that's about to speed up. Okay, and I feel like this is moving towards something stable moving in together, communicating about a home, or just having some type of stability, even a marriage or commitment here, all right? But things may feel stuck and stagnant or, or their next action towards you. I feel like this person may, Pisces energy is here as well. Something may be feeling stuck or stagnant, but I feel like it's, it's somebody's trying to get clarity. Like somebody's trying to see things in a different perspective that that's what the hanging woman is about hanging man hanging woman whatever when it comes to some form of stability higher level of commitment a home but if things were moving slow it's it's about to speed up communication wise or you know somebody's been planning on having some type of honest truthful communication so let's flip the roles what is saggy's Next action towards the person on their mind. How is Saggy moving towards the person on their mind? Four cards, please. What is Saggy's? Two cards. I'm not taking. There may be some type of truth about the past, or somebody may be trying to cut out something from their past. Seven of coins. So, or you may be trying to cut out. Sorry, excuse me. Saggy. Seven of coins. Somebody here. So you're very focused on your business, on your stability, king of coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, seven of pentacles. I feel like you're working on your investments. You're, you're taking a look at, you know, the seeds that you've planted. You're nurturing those seeds and watching them grow. You are the king of coins. Your next action here, I feel like you're working on your stability. You're focused on whatever it is that you're investing your time and energy into. You're very focused on it. King of cups. Wow. So you, uh, I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. You want something traditional, possibly. You want something that is stable, committed, loyal, grounded. You may be a business owner, but I feel like you're also very intuitive, very in control of your emotions with this King of Cups. I feel like you have a lot of love for whoever this is. Next action, Saggy's taking, please. And the Five of Wands, so you may be feeling a little bit conflicted. Somebody here, maybe both of you may be even feeling a little bit conflicted. Both of you guys may be like taking a break or just kind of like pausing, reflecting, reevaluating some things, trying to see things from a different perspective. But I do feel like if things were moving slow, things are going to start speeding up. So let's clarify. What is this Knight of Coins? Queen of Coins. Whoa. So you got the King of Coins. To the queen of coins and knight of coins. This is somebody coming in with an offer. Somebody's coming in to offer some type of stability, commitment. Um, 
this is something that somebody's been thinking about or planning for some time. Show me the Knight of Swords, please. Show me the Knight of Swords. The Queen of Wands. So there could be others involved in this situation, or this is just someone who, if you think that something has been moving slow, things are about to speed up. Somebody is very attracted to you with this Queen of Wands. You could be someone who's very confident, attractive, charismatic, all right? You could be a doer. <laughs> I just watched that movie with, um, I can't believe I forgot his name. Anyways, it's called The Doer or something like that. Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, somebody here is about to take action. Queen of Wands takes action. They're going to they're gonna rush in and they're going to communicate something. And whatever they say is going to be honest. It's going to be truthful. This person may be leaving something. Five of Pentacles, leaving a home or leaving a marriage out in the cold. Disconnecting from something. Damn, okay, show me the hanged woman. And the Queen of Cups, whoa, Piscean energy. Next to action. This person has a lot of love for you, too. You got the King of Coins to the Queen. You got the King of Coins, Queen of Coins, Queen of... Okay, you know what I'm trying to say. You have two pairs out here. And you also have a Queen of Wands. So, if there's not, like, mul I don't necessarily see... Well, hmm. There may be competition here. Saji, you may have uh, two masculines in your energy. This person may have a few feminines. Jesus. Okay. But somebody's leaving something out in the cold. I feel like this person's next action towards you is they're going to express love. They're coming in. I feel like they're pausing. They're reflecting. They're trying to see things in a new perspective. They're trying to use their intuition. And that's why things are feeling stuck and stagnant. But this person also has a lot of love for you. Four of Wands, they may be leaving a marriage or some type, something out in the cold. They're coming in very confident, very passionately, wanting something that is committed, you know, and stable. They've been planning this out. Show me the Seven of Coins for Sagi's next, or next action. The Sun, Leo energy. So, Seven of Coins. You're... Your next action, you're investing into things that make you happy. The sun card, you're growing. This is about growth, expansion, illumination, all right? But this is also with the seven of coins. It's like you're building something that makes you extremely happy. You're wanting to invest into something that makes you extremely happy. Someone may have Leo on their chart. Show me this king of coins. The knight of cups. Side note, someone here may be jealous of your stability, of your finances. For others of you, somebody's you're wanting to come in and express your emotions, express how you feel, offer an apology in order to have something. Like somebody's going to like pour out their emotions, I feel like. What is this King of Cups for Saggy's next move? King of Cups. The Six of Wands. More Leo energy. So, Six of Wands. Somebody here wants something to, to be a success. You may be very successful. You may see someone as very successful. Or you want this, this situation to be a success. And that's why things are feeling at a pause right now. What is the Five of Wands? Ooh, the Devil. Damn. Capricorn energy. Um, okay. So somebody here may have options. Somebody may have addictions to like, I don't know. Something here is not like what it seems. I would be careful. What is the devil? The nine of coins. Mm. 
more on the devil. So somebody here is coming out of their head. I feel like somebody's ending a cycle. You got two nines here. This is like almost the completion of a cycle, but something may not quite be over yet. There may be others here causing drama in this situation. There may be competition, confliction, all right, people competing. But somebody's trying to become single, but they're still in this toxic energy, or you are, I should say. I don't know who's who here, but... Um, Saggy, I feel like you're focused on your pentacles, your business. You may be wanting new love. You may be wanting to offer your love to somebody. You may be sitting in this very loving, intuitive energy, this boss status energy. You may be someone who's very happy. You're ready for a new beginning in love. You're very successful. You get a lot of attention. But there could be a lot of competition or people competing with you. Somebody may be obsessed with competing for you or some shit. But somebody's coming out of their head and they're becoming single from the situation. As for the person on your mind, I feel like this person is wanting to come in and offer some type of stability. They're going to take action. And so if things were slow, they're going to be coming in quick. Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Somebody may be leaving a home or leaving a marriage out in the cold. And pausing before having like some type of a new beginning in love. I don't know what this is. Okay, so this devil energy next to the six of wands, you may be in the public eye or do something online. You may be in the industry or somebody who's very, very successful. Okay, you may also be someone who is single. like not a worry in the world very free very elegant very happy i feel like whoever this is someone has a lot of good things going on for them and someone's leaving a situation and taking action things are going to start speeding up in this situation i'm going to leave it there let's get three romance angels for this reading if this reading is helping or giving you clarity in any way guidance let me know smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel all right, let's see. Three cards, please, in regards to this reading. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay, the signs are cautioning you. I haven't seen this in a minute, this card in a minute. So, yeah, there may be others here involved in the situation. I'm kind of teetering back and forth. I feel like somebody may have, like, there's something off here. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. For yourself, it is time to take back control of your life. So somebody may be trying to free themselves and take back control of their life. Um, you deserve love. You are lovable. Bottom of the deck, separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So I don't know what's going on here, Sag. You drop a comment. Let me know. Let's get one card for Sag, please. There is quite a few people or energies up in this mix. King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So Queen of Wands, you have three different... There could be a fire sign who's traveling towards you, or this could be you traveling towards somebody. And death card, Scorpio Cancer. There's some type of an ending here and a brand new beginning. Wow, Ace of Coins, death card, Ace of Coins. After something ends, something new is going to transform, but I feel like somebody needs to like detach from something. A home with the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Someone needs to detach from a home or a living situation because I feel like somebody may even live with like... Three different people. I don't know. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe in this and they will manifest physically. Okay. Give me one for the person on Saggy's mind. I just seen soulmate and twin flame. The four of wands can also symbolize like some type of twin flame union. Twin flame connection. Give me one more please for Saggy's person. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Yeah. Someone's going to come in and express something. I don't know if it's you or this person. It may be both of you. Shit, from the sounds of it, in sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. I feel like somebody has, somebody's like leaving. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, this person may have options or three different women in their energy. 
I don't know, but they're leaving some type of home or a family dynamic. This could even be sisters, siblings, mother, a mother energy. Um, one could be a girlfriend, one could be a mother, one could be a wife, shit, I don't know, but or a baby mama. All right, someone here has few people, but they're like detaching from that situation, coming towards you. You, I feel like you're focused on your pentacles. You have a lot of love to give. You're very stable, all right, very loyal, committed trustworthy person here you're very successful but i feel like you may have people competing for you like you may have options i don't see you necessarily interested in these or there could be some drama surrounding some type of like toxicity i feel like i'm missing something here and it's really annoying me show me what this nine of pentacles is i feel like you're single stable good on your own yeah you work well with others you're collaborating you're doing something here and it's in regards to your finances or, or your business. You're very successful. So what is the devil? The star. Okay, so maybe you're just in the industry then, Sag. Because the star is, you know, someone in the public eye, you know, um, doesn't mean you sold your soul, but I'm just saying, what is the nine of swords? The moon. So... Why is the Nine of Swords reversed? The hair font. <clears throat> you may be like secretly signing some type of contract or something that's going to allow you to be free, unencumbered. I don't know. Taurus energy, Pisces Cancer. Again. It's like you're not worried about something here. You're not worried about some secrets. You're not worried about shit. There may even be like some type of secret marriage. Maybe that's what someone's doing. They're trying to leave some type of secret marriage, but it's like this isn't even like you don't even fucking care. Nine of Swords in the reverse. It's like you're single, self sufficient, good on your own. And the tower, yeah. Temperance. It's like you're you're patient, you're balanced, you're cool, nine of cups, you're you're happy. But there's like something going on in the background that's blowing the fuck up, and you're like, wherever this this person is that's like floating away from the tower, I feel like you're like you're not even in this shit. Like you are okay. You're not worried about whatever's going on here. Maybe you're highly intuitive with this, you know, God card, this title card with this moon intuition. It's like maybe you already know though. Like, I don't know. I feel like you're completely fucking good. Like, you are on some shit right now. You're happy. You're investing. You're king, king of coins to the king of cups. Okay, but there may be some people competing or fighting over this or, or causing, trying to cause some type of drama. I don't even fucking know. But you're just like, I don't even fucking see you. I don't hear you. I don't give a shit. Whatever. All right, I'm going to leave this reading here. If you enjoyed it, if it gave you clarity and guidance in any way, let me know. Drop a comment, smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next one.